Good morning, traders. Welcome to the daily webinar. Um, just to remind you, this one is also going to be out as the weekly outlook. So make sure you, if you like what I do, you go there, you click a like, you leave your comment for traders who are seeing it for the first time. So they would decide whether it's worth watching or not. And for the general YouTube public who watch, if you like what I do, please share it. You might help someone. Let's go. Uh, let's start. So we'll start with dollar index. By the way, that was a nice trade. We closed Friday. Wonderful. Some really nice trades on Friday. We managed to get the, the right direction of the move and we're still in the consolidation. Nothing happened, right? So right now this move happened. Remember, this is the weekly top. Keep reminding yourself that all the time. That's the monthly top. This is the first move down. And as long as the consolidation stays in this range, we're going to be going down. If this consolidation end up going higher, we'll probably come back here and go up. Very simple. Now, the reason I'm showing this is because let me let, let me just before everybody, especially this for the YouTube traders, right? So my traders bear with me for a second. There was a comment that said, um, you have to stop showing traders to take breakout trades because that's the fastest way for newbies to lose their money. Uh, the next part of the comment was that only uh, uh, professional traders only take breakout very rarely. Well, I think that's a bunch of BS. The person who wrote that probably has no idea about trading. Because breakout trading is the easiest and the safest way of trading. Now, here's the problem why most traders will lose their money if they do breakout trading, because they don't understand structure. It's like saying, you know, flying a plane is easy. But if you didn't learn to fly the plane properly, if you didn't, if you don't have the experience and the knowledge and everything else that goes with it. You can't fly a plane, right? It's pretty easy, right? You can put an autopilot and walk around, but you can't do it if you haven't been trained to do it the right way. It's like any job. It's easy if you know what you're doing. So when I show you direction and I said, we are expecting it to do this and we will be looking for this breakout trade, it also goes with, okay, what if when it breaks out, it doesn't go to your target. It will break out. 99% of the time, they do break out. The problem is not all of them will go to your target because structure, since it's wave analysis, structure can change. And let me show you that very quick. You have a move. You have a correction now. And we'll assume that this is a 60 minute, right? Because I'm not going to go into details of all of that. That's a whole six weeks course. If you want to learn more details, you'll join me. And we are looking for a breakout. What we are expecting is a breakout an equivalent to this. Now, if there is a four hour direction, it's going to be bigger than that. If there isn't a four hour direction, which means this is in a consolidation by itself, sorry, that went away. Let me draw it back again, let's see. Yeah, move, consolidation, go. Now, if this is in a consolidation by itself and the way this is behaving, there's a lot to tell you whether we might not even take that breakout. Right? But if we do take it, there is a chance it will go to our target. And there is a chance it's just going to break. It's just going to break the top like this and then turn back down. Now you may say, well, that's a losing trade. And I'm going to tell you most of those trades, we get a break even. Which means if you understand how it's going to behave when it doesn't go or what it is going to do if it's not going to go, the rules of engagement is very simple. We have those rules. And those rules prevent us from taking a big loss in the first place, which is going to hit your stop loss. A big loss means hitting the money you were, oh, you were risking one-to-one, -one, whatever it is, right? If you were going for one-to-one, -one, if you're going for one-to-two, you could, if your stop was there, I'm not saying your stop should be there. That's not the, the, the thing. I'm just telling you, if it was there, we're not going to allow it to come here and take our stops out. Most times we get rid of that trade for break even for close positive or close negative slightly. And that is because you understand how wave analysis works. Now that doesn't mean it's not gonna go up. It means it could come down and still go back up. And most times, even if we get out of those trades, we get right back into the trade. But that again comes to when it doesn't go, what does it do? How does it behave when it's not going the way you expect it to go? That is what makes it complex, right? It's complex, it's not that difficult, it's a complex structure. Remember what we told you, this is going to break the top and turn? Go back to the daily. There's a reason this line is here because when we break that up, we are expecting it to turn. It doesn't mean it's gonna turn immediately. But that's the point at which there is a completion of a pattern. 
And this could be the turn. I don't know that this is the turn, but I'm saying this could be the turn, which means even if this is a pullback, it's a tradable moment. The range is huge enough for you to trade in it. And that's where we make money. Because we understand what needs to happen to, to prove that, okay, this is actually turning now. I don't know that that is not a correction and we go back up. If you look at it this way, you can say, well, you know, this thing looks like it could go back up to the top there. Well, good for us. Because as soon as we see that, we'll be buying like we bought it in Friday, which means we sold euro and a whole lot of them that we made money. And it doesn't matter whether it's going to go up or not, because if it stays in this range, then we understand that we're coming down. If it goes back to the top and start going up, great, we'll be in the trade. If it comes here and come back here, it's still going to go up. So there is a number of ways this market would behave. And depending on how it behaves, we will make the decision as to what it is going to do next. And since we are trading on the one hour, that gives you a lot of time to make those decisions and good range of movements that you can trade. Right Now, trading analysis, which is what I'm giving you every week here, and I give to my traders twice daily, and my traders themselves do it about three or four times more, which means before I came in here this morning, there was a session, and there will be sessions when I leave, and there will be sessions after the New York when I'm finished. People who, who are paying the installment are getting two sessions a day now, not one, but two. That is 20, that is how much? 20, 40 sessions a month for free, and it is free. One dumb person said, but you said we have to pay some money every month. For, why is it free? That money goes to paying for the course, not for the free webinars you're getting. You can't pay for that. You do not have enough money to pay for that analysis, right? So you're getting that free, but you're only getting it if you intend to take the course. So if you show me your intention that I'm gonna take the course, so I'm starting to pay for the course, then we said, great. We're going to give you this for free. And you guys get it once a week free. So you can decide. You want four a month or you want once a week, four a month. It's your choice. Let's go. So what we're looking at here right now is the possibility of, you see, we broke that top. Is the possibility of this either coming back down here or continue to go up back to the top. Now, even if you break this top, that doesn't mean you're going to continue to go. There's still a chance you're going to come back here. We're in a consolidation, and in this range, anything is possible. But that doesn't mean if anything is possible, you can say, well, yeah, but yeah, anything is possible, then we don't know what we should do. No, you know what you can do. It's like crossing a road. Anything is possible when you cross the road. You can get hit. But you have rules on how you're crossing the road. When you're crossing, where you're crossing, the rules, that, that rules doesn't mean you can't get hit. But you follow the rules, there's a good chance you're not going to get hit. Right? There's a 99% chance, 99.9% .9 chance you're not going to get hit because you understand. Even if a car is coming when you see the green light, there's a chance you will turn. You will stop. It's the same thing in trading like anything in life. There are, nothing is 100% guarantee, but if you understand the rules of engagement, if, you're, if you have the knowledge of structure, what you're doing, if you have the knowledge of what you're involved in, you know how to manage yourself. So you know how many plane accidents were saved. That doesn't mean that there was never an accident in the air. But a lot of them were safe because they're very, very good pilots who knows the rule of engagement and know what to do in different situations. So you want to become a wave analysis trader, you have to learn to do it. Don't just say, okay, well, he said buy, so I'm buying. I never tell you to take a trade. I'm giving you my analysis and telling you which direction I think it's going to go. As of now, I still think we're going to go up. Now, there was a short sell here, but because of the depth of the pullback, I think this is likely going to come a little lower like this and then go up. Now, what would change? Is it might come here and come here and come here and come here and end up like this? And you will say, oh, well, he said it's going to go up, look, it's going up. This is not tradable. That, as it stands there, is not tradable. And even if it comes to this level, it is still going to go back. up. So now it's either going to go now or it's going to come to this level and then go back up. Pretty simple. Shall we see this? Because if it comes slowly like this, we're going to continue to consolidate in this range. You will say, well, what if it drops fast? What if this drops fast? Well, pretty easy. Let it prove that that drop is not a single drop to go back up, but a drop that will continue to go down. You can't just decide that I'll take it because it might drop. There is nothing in here that telling me it's going to drop. We knew this was going to go up. See the difference between this and this was happening there? 
If you can't see the difference, then you don't understand what we're doing. So for now, this is upside. So if that person is losing his account because he's taking breakout and he doesn't understand what he's doing, that's why he probably made the comment. My advice to you is either if you can afford take the course, if you can't afford join the installment, you will save yourself a lot. Most, most traders end up taking the course or the installment after they've lost quite a lot of money and then realize that, you know what, I really can't do this on my own, I need the help. Or they have bought three for small courses somewhere else that is useless and then they will come because they realize, you know what, this thing is working. It is working. You can go back and look at all my webinars and look at all the forecasts we make. And then you'll see. So we're, we're expecting this to go up right now. I don't think it's going to go as a stand right now. I can see consolidation forming here in a much lower degree, which means it could probably come here. But the entry order, as soon as you break the low, will be here. For now, the entry order should be above the top. So this would be a buy setup. And then we'll wait to see how it behaves further to decide whether we change that. Remember, we do this three, four, five times a day. So if there's a structural change and there's a possible trade downside, we'll take it up. This one is still consolidating, but it's still a buy. I think you guys could have gotten the buy earlier. My traders are probably already in the trade. Remember, this was this was the drop we, we took on Friday. Now we're looking for the buy, so take that off. And now we're looking for a buy setup here. That's a reversal of this or a correction. We're still in this bigger structure. And we expected this to drop, break that low, and then turn. So you're expecting an upside now. This is a very sharp impulse up. So the trade should have been from here already. If anybody was trading earlier than me and they took the trade from this point, they did well. From somewhere here, you should be in that trade already. If you're not in the trade, put an entry above the top. Now this entry above the top could tag you and pull back. It could probably tag you and come back here and then go. Make a bigger flat, that's a possibility. You'd have to be able to manage that trade. And so you go, but it's not going to tag you and drop here. That's very unlikely. It could tag you and stay here for a while and then drop. If we see this repeating itself, then we'll consider drop. I don't see that repeating itself right now. So you should be in that trade already, or you can put an entry above the top. If you get a flag before that ticket, if this drops lower, good for us. If this actually drops lower first, we'll go with this one, and then we're going with the buy. It's still a buy setup. You would have to know how you're going to change the entry, where you're going to put your stop, how you're going to manage the trades. So right now, I think we'll change this from a, that sell was a short-term sell. We knew that to a buy because we've got a pattern that looks upside, right? If you look back at the whole thing, you got this here. Remember, we thought this could drop because we did. It was consolidating at the bottom, but that consolidation at the bottom turned out to be more upside. You can only get that after you broke out of the consolidation. Right after you break out of the consolidation, then you can make that. Okay, we're probably going up now. Great. Any consolidation is upside. What was the bigger picture? Remember what I told you about the bigger picture? It's still going to go up because what is happening in this range here, what is happening in this range here is happening in this range here. So think of these two. You've got a big impulse here and you're getting a big consolidation. You've got a big impulse there and now you're getting a consolidation there. So this should continue to go back to the top. Now, there's a good question of whether it will break out or whether it's gonna come back down. But if you can get from there to there, you'll probably double your account because there's gonna be about 15, 20 trades to that. So you'll probably get about 30% in your account or more, right? So depending on how aggressive you are. Come back to the one hour and let's look for this straight to the upside. Simple. Oh, sorry, I should have taken that out. That would have been a buy. We don't put that on. So this was a buy where you would close this. This wasn't the buy here. That was the top. The buy should have been from here. We didn't take that buy. I think we had it as a buy. But if you do, you close. You put an entry above the top here. That one didn't go. Take it off. It's consolidating, which is good. We're getting an expanding flat. Expanding or running. I'm thinking running or expanding. So if you get a buy here, it would be a good idea. Keep your eyes out because this might still come here and come back down. There's a good chance this could be a bigger consolidation before you go. But as of now, it should be a buy setup. This would change very, very quick from a buy to a sell if we come lower, right? This has to go now. If this comes anyway lower into this piece, 
we will change the biofuel cell very quick, right? So as it stands right now, it's a buy above the top. You can buy above this top. But if this consolidation stays here and close lower into this range here, it will become a sell. Euro, perfect sell, take it off. That was a good sell, take this, take both of them off, take this off. These are tops, so don't worry about those. Right now, it looks like a sell setup. We still have to break this low. No, I'll not necessarily break it. We have to come close to the low. I would anticipate they'll break this low. So I'm looking at this, something like this, something like this, something like this. Now, this is only one piece. This could get more complex, especially if this comes up here and then drop here, go back up there and then come here, which means uh, similar to what happened in this. See, this one had this big flat in the middle here. Down, up, down. So if we get up, down, up, and then down again, this would complete this big flat in the middle here. Give you a drop to this level. They don't need to break that low because we broke the top. So you could probably go from here. Now, can this be the one that go? I don't think so. I think it's gonna, it could drop here and then go. That is possible. So the sell, although there is a sell possible sell set up here, I would not take it. The buy in this one, I also wouldn't take at this range. Not as yet. It's not aggressively going up, right? It's not like this, like the, the silver, right? You don't have that sharp move up. So I think we'll skip this, take that off. We're just not going to trade it today. We're going to keep an eye on it and then decide. It's still in the consolidation. The bigger direction is still upside. This one keeps coming down. Bigger direction is still upside too. We're still in this move up, but it, if it drops lower into this range, well, then we're going to make one more. Can it actually drop and break this low? Absolutely, but it's not coming in as aggressive as I would like. So I think a little more upside here, especially if this happens and then you go there, then there's a chance we're gonna drop again. Right now it's making a short-term buy setup. And I mean short-term, really short-term. Until we break out of this structure, any buy in here would be short-term. So put it in the 15 to see that piece. It's kind of making a flat here. I would let it come back here. And if we see something that, that is worth trading, that will give you a risk to reward to the top there. Might, we might take the trade. If not, if, especially if it comes lower like here, let it go back there and then we'll sell, right? So this one, it's if it comes lower, go back there, we will be selling. If it stays at the top there, we may buy it. I don't think we will, but we will consider it because unless it breaks out of this structure, it's too high a risk. So this one, by the end of today, by tomorrow, we will know what we're doing with it, which means if you're getting, if you're getting the recording twice daily from me, you will probably know what to do with it. So we're going to skip that Aussie. Okay, it's a good drop, broke the low. Now we can put it like this. And it's either total upside, which would have been a buy here. So this is either going to totally go up or it could still consolidate in this range, drop again, consolidate, drop again, and then we go up. This, this is a total correction in itself. I don't think we'll use this as a running flat possibility. It could become, but I don't think so. Right now we're looking for upside. So this is still upside. This is a correction for still upside. I still think this is gonna go and we might end up all the way back to the top here. All right, if this, if this stays here and go, if this goes up back, then we are going to do this one. So this one was out. This one is possibly gonna be out. What if it keeps dropping like this? Well, we'll keep selling it and then we'll put this one and then upside, all right? This is a daily correction that's happening. After that daily correction, there's gonna be a daily up impulse up, which would be amazing to get. Within the one hour. I don't think we have a trade here right now. The trade is gone. The trade was here this morning, but that's gone. So now you wait, wait until this stop, consolidate, and then we look for a trade. If it stops and it gives you a sell setup, we'll consider it. There is no sell setup, but if it does change into sell setup, there's no buy, no sell in this. New Zealand looks like a sell. It's in the range and it's tra trading very low. It's coming back this way. Put a sell under the low. Be careful you're at this low and you're consolidating. So that means if it does drop to this level, it might not go very far before it goes back up. But it's worth selling because you're breaking out of this structure. You're breaking out of this and you can drop back to retest the low. Right, that is possible. Remember, we have a number of options just like the Aussie of how this can be. It can be one, two, three, 
these can be separate nodes of their own. If this consolidator, we're going back up for this one. Right. So put it in the one arm. That's it. Right now, it's a flag that we broke the top and we're coming back. Should we go for the buy if they go back up as a running flat? You could possibly get a running flat here too. Right, and this goes back up there. We tagged the low, so it didn't go back up. Let's wait and see. I'll put a cell. We'll wait here. If it comes, we'll put a cell here. But this is an aggressive cell. For my traders, if you're gonna, if you're gonna take the cell, if the cell does happen, it will be a very aggressive cell. Right, so that's gonna be an aggressive, which means you're gonna monitor it very, very close. If you don't take the cell and it seems like it's gonna go back up, you don't need to get it by. We'll, we'll let it break out and then look for biceps. The, the move up is longer. Swiss, perfect by setup. We broke the top, or we actually come very close to, we haven't broken, we're very close to the top, which means we're looking at a range here, right? Unless this go break the top right now, we're looking at a range. So let's see, there is a buy setup here. I'm not sure it's gonna go very far. I think we'll just break, we'll kind of like break out of this top here and then come right back up. Either it's gonna be a more complex pattern coming back here and then going back up or it's gonna drop. So if you're gonna take the buy, I think it's worth it. We can handle that. If we're gonna go for a buy here, assume it's not gonna go very far. Right, if you're going for the buy, just assume it's not going to go very far. If it goes good first, it's a good buy as of now. Yen, perfect buy setup, and you have another perfect buy setup here. This one is also correcting against that, right? See, we're pulling back against this one. We don't have anything to match it for running flat because this one is a separate one. Those are too small. So it's either we're going to make a bigger flat here, or once they break the top, they can take that cell off. That was a cell. Yeah. Once we break the top, we can start a pullback. So you have to be careful with this. That could be the top of the structure. There is a buy happening right here now. Seems like a small running flat, but it's not going aggressive. So if you're going to buy this, you have to be really, really, if it stays like this, pull the buy off. Right? The only, this buy is only valid if it goes really sharp now. If it stays in this range consolidating, pull the buy. You don't want to be tagged and dragged downwards, right? We don't have a sell set up there, but if it becomes a sell, we'll trade it. That means if this drops, because we have a top there, right? If this drops, make a flag under these lows, we'll sell. You can't sell it here. Although you have a top there, it's a possible running flag. So don't sell it as yet. Take it off. If you put a buy, we put a really aggressive buy. Can this was a good buy to take that off. We're looking for a sell here. It should be in the cell already. You can get in the cell now if you want. You're going to look for two things. You're going to look for a drop. Are you going to look for consolidation here and then up? Whichever comes, you'll get positive out of that trade. So you can literally take the trade now. I'm not, this is not a trade call to anybody. This is for my traders to understand what they can do, right? So it can become more complex. It's under here, so it's pretty much there. It can become more complex. I don't think it will, but you know, if they decide to get more complex, it's just gonna probably be about here. If it's going to be an upside, it will consolidate more. See, this one consolidate a lot. So if it's gonna be a consolidation like this, you'll probably stay here a long while. Keep an entry, keep a stop above the top. So we'll put this as a cell. Cadian buy, Cadian is still upside, right? So for those of you who watch my weekly webinar, remember when we showed you this pattern, when the, we actually showed you this pattern when this was happening. We told you we have to go back up like this, and then we have to come down back like this, and then this completes the flat, and then this has to go up. That was before, before we knew what any news is ever going to be. Right, that's like seeing in the future. Yeah, I don't know what the news is going to be. So if you believe news is what moves the market, you can congratulate me and vision seeing in the future. 
What I am telling you is I have seen this pattern so often that when I see this happening, I know it's probably, I have a very high probability of it repeating that pattern. So I'm making that forecast with the intention that, you know what, they're probably going to repeat that very pattern. That's all. It's not about seeing the future, but understanding what happened in the past. Right? We don't look in the future. We look in the past. And then we come and we say, is it going to repeat what happened in the past so often? But if you believe news is what moves the market, then you would have to credit me of seeing in the future. Because then you would have to assume I know what the news is going to be that is going to move the market one way or the other, which I don't. So it's about learning patterns in the past and then being good at it. Which if you're following us, you would know we are. So right now we're looking for this to consolidate here. It could go more up, any pullback. I don't see them breaking the low, so there's a good chance it's going to pull back and then you're going to go. We'll look for a running flat. It's a buy setup, but it's not ready as yet. So I'll put it as a buy setup, waiting for the for the pullback to get a running flat. You guys can look at it to the 15, see if it's a completion of a contracting flat, and then make your decision based on that. But I think we're waiting for a running flat to go. There's space to go. There's a lot to go, so we'll get the trade. Pankad. Okay, so we're stuck in the, in the middle here. Take this off. Let it complete this bigger flat. This was the up move. They kind of come down here, do this, come down here. Let them either finish this or let it come back to the low, go back up, and then we'll sell it. I think it's a drop. It's just making a big flat, right? I think we're going to drop here. We're just making a big flat here. They, they made a lot of big flats before they drop, right? They made a lot of big flats before they drop. So I think let this come here, go back up there, finish this bigger flat, and then we go for that trade, which is probably tomorrow. So we'll leave it alone. Euro yet. Why do I have punk cat in the middle of nowhere? Oh, we were trading to the CAD news. Sorry. Let me pull punk cat back to the bottom here. Yep. Euro yet. Same thing. All right. This could have been two ways. Go down with a big flat there, but it's more likely we're going to make a new high. Then we're going to turn because it's looking more upside and it's looking very sharp now to the upside. So this one didn't drop. Turned out to be a contracting flat. We'll probably go with a contracting flat. I don't think we'll go with a running flat here. It could be an option if you take this out. The running flat might even be a better option. We had the running flat, but we took it off after we started to consolidate here. Because normally in the impulse, you're not expecting them to consolidate to the bottom of it, right? We weren't expecting them to consolidate in this range before going, making an impulse there. We thought this would be more. So it will be more of this, a flat there, go there, make a flat, pull back, make another flat, and then go again. So yes, I think we'll go for a buy, wait for the pullback. So this will be waiting for the pullback. Good one. All the yen. That was a buy. It pulled back pretty deep, but if you took the buy, you're still good. It looks like we are still going to pull back because I don't think we're going to put this one. That is too small. So there's a chance it's going to pull back. It's breaking the top. So what you want it to do is pull back like this and then go, giving us a running flat pattern there. If you make any flag above the top, it's a buy. It will be a long, drawn out running flat. This should go back up too. So the buy isn't the problem. All right, this should go back up. It could even break this top, take that off. We could even break that top because we will be probably in this bigger flat pattern. All right, which means breaking out of this. Very sharp, coming, maybe coming back, depending on if we look at this like that. Maybe just go break the top, then turn. They will all turn eventually, right? We know that. New Zealand, yeah. Same here, right? So you kind of get one, two, three, and you're going back up for this one, which means this has to come break this top. Come back here and then go. We just completed one of the yen patterns like this. Now, could it be that we're looking at a contracting flat here? For any reason, could we look at this as a contracting flat? I don't think so. I don't like it as a contracting flat. So we'll stick with this one for now. And look for buy setups. Let's see if we have a buy setup here. Nope, I want to pull back. I want this to come back here make a flat, and then go. So we'll wait. There is a running flat. You could make an argument for this being a running flat, and this actually making one more impulse, then coming. 
So if you're going to go with the buy, and you can go with the buy if you want, what if it becomes uh, one of those extended running flats? You can go with the buy, but you would have to be really, really cautious, right? Knowing that, that the, we did, there's an impulse to come back at any time. So if you can manage that trade, you take it. If you can manage it, wait for this pullback to happen and then go with it, right? So it's yen. This didn't break, so we'll go with the running. This has a similar to the Euro yen where they made the running flat and then consolidate here before it goes. It is an impulse with a consolidation, but because it's so low, you're always expecting one more down. So this one we had as a sell, this didn't go, that's not a problem. That was a counter trade for us. Wait for a pullback here and get in the trade. Wait for a pullback here and go with a running flat. You can't take the trade here, it's useless. Now this should go up, go up to where? This is the only one that doesn't have the similar structure to all the other yen pairs. So I think you'd have to be cautious about buying this here because you don't want the trap of a running flat forming here, coming back here and then going, right? Now, can we assume that this is all the correction? I don't like this piece, too sharp. So I would stay away from the buy unless you get a perfect setup. If you get a perfect setup for the buy, then you go. But if you get a sell setup, we'll take it. It's not gonna happen today. Maybe tomorrow. So take this off. Your loss. It didn't even break the top, but you got break even. So we'll assume some kind of a contraction. If you get any flag, you can sell. All right, we didn't break the top. It doesn't necessarily have to break the top. It could come back pretty deep and go back up still. So we'll see. We're consolidating here for the downside. Now, can we go with that as a possible contraction? Yeah, we could go with a contracting flat in here. It depends on how you look at it. If you look at this as a one, two, three, a pullback and then just one, you could go with that. This could break through, but it could also get much more complex in here, which means coming down back here, going back there, you know, making more complex before you drop. See this one? So if it's gonna get that complex, we'll trade within the range. Wait for a pullback. There was a pullback here, but I'm not sure whether that fulfills there. Yeah, you can make an argument that it's over. You can make an argument for this one, right? I think it's okay. So any flag here now would be a sell setup. Wait for a flag. If it does pull back sharp, if it pulls back sharp like this at any point, go with the running flag, right? We will go with this as, as a smaller expanding flag in there. there there's a number of options how you can put that. So wait for this, any flag, any pullback, sell setup, back to the low. So we'll put it waiting for a flag, and go. Your cat. Yeah, it's coming down, but we haven't broken that top as yet. So this one is complex because it could come back here. If we look at that as a possible contraction, you could come back here in a number like this and then go back up sharp and then drop. That's an option. What are the chances this is finished? And this is just a deep pullback. It's way too sharp. So I think we wouldn't go with that. Ignore the trade for now. Go back to the one or there isn't a buy setup as yet. And right? then even if you buy, you'll just probably break this stop. So there wouldn't be good risk to reward. So leave this one. Let's wait for a better setup and then we'll trade it. Euro Swiss. This is a better one for a sell. And we broke the top already. So we had a nice flat here. Perfect flat setup. Kind of break the top, you get a flag for a sell. That would have been a good sell if anybody's in it already. I don't know if anyone of you took it after the flag. You saw this flag. You see the break of the top. You see a flag here, you take the trade. All right? No questions asked. You're in that trade. This could come down to the bottom. So what we do is wait for another flag. All right? We get another flag. We sell. This is a sell setup for downside. So can you sell it with an entry below the low? Absolutely. This is the last high. Put an entry there. And you can go with this one. That is if it really drops fast. If it goes slow, any other flag you can make. Can it go up one more? Absolutely. Can this stop here and go up one more? I don't think you'll want to buy, but if you're aggressive enough have to take that buy, which means if it does go one more up and you want to buy, you can put a buy setup above here. 
Now, only one of these two entries can be tagged, right? The upside is limited, the downside is huge, right? The downside is a big drop like this. It's a big drop like that. The upside is only to break this top, right? It's literally just to break that top, just to break that top and then turn again. So if you can take this trade and get out for positive, good for you, right? That's the trade. The upside is limited, the downside is sharp. I would say if you're a newbie, if you're not an aggressive trader, you're not very successful, don't take this trade. So we'll take that off. That is a very aggressive trade. We'll put it as a sell setup with this entry staying where it is. You're in New Zealand? We're back at the top. So let's pull it like this and assume that we're making a big, huge flat there for downside, which is what I think we're doing. So if that's the case, we should drop. If you go with the assumption that this was all the correction, this is the low, this should go back up higher, right? Now, because of the way this is coming down, we don't know which one is actually the thing, right? We don't know whether it's that or it's this because we keep breaking the lows. So it's either an expanding triangle, expanding flat, it's a double expanding flat, which means this is one expanding flat and that one, well, we didn't break the top. So that one is just a running flat. Let's see if we can take the trade here. Here's the problem. There's a perfect flat forming here for sell. That's a perfect sell flat. The problem with that is that it's right at the top of this impulse. And in that case, what happens is you come here, you make a new high, and then you drop, or you continue to go up. All right? If this is the low, it will continue to go up. If this is if this is the top, if we're actually making that expansion, it's going to drop. In this case, you do two things. You allow it to drop under the low. Wait for a flag, sell. All right, so we do that. We wait for a flag, second confirmation, take the trade. Don't take this because if it's going up, it is going to tag you here and then do that. So you don't want that to happen. Wait for the confirmation. So I think we're going to go with the expansion person. We're going to go with a sell setup. Wait for a sell setup. Your pound. You broke the top. Seems like we're coming back down. Most likely a correction. There was a good sell setup already this morning. And this looks more downside. So if you're not in the trade, you can let's see if we can take it from under the low. Would be a little aggressive taking it under the low. It's already gone. Wait for a flag. It's literally gone already. So take that out, wait for a flag. Wait for a flag, go for the sell. If it is making a flat for upside, if we're making some kind of a flat, let's assume you're making a bigger correction here and you're gonna go up, it has to reverse and then we'll buy. But for now, I think it's downside. We had this flat here, we broke the top, you're reversing, probably gonna come deeper and we might even retest the low. Let's see the previous moves, if we had anything there to go with. Uh, you can make an argument for running flats. Not exactly a good ideal one, but you can make that argument. So let's see, can we make an argument for this being an expansion as well? That piece, possible. Wait for the sell setup. If it's a buy, we'll take it. So you can put an entry order for a buy here and wait for a flag for the sell. So you can put an entry order here for the buy, nothing's gonna happen to this entry order if it doesn't go up. You know that, that's a safe entry, right? And leave it, but any flag on there here will become a sell. Let's see. Pang in. And this one is strange, right? This one is similar to the euro, where we had the running flat, but we changed it because they consolidate here. And then go back up. I would still be very cautious of that consolidation, which means I think there's a good chance. There's a very good chance we are making this a bigger flat, not that piece. So put it here on the four hour. There's a very, very good chance. This comes back here and then go, All right? So we're looking for this move up. We're making the assumption that this is one, two, three. We will get this move up here and then we're gonna come back here before we go. I think there are about three yen pairs with similar structure for up, down, and then go. And there are a couple that are just going already complete the pattern. So we'll have to look at all of them again this in the trading room and decide to separate them by which one is going which direction, right? 
So we'll put this back with the yen pairs and we're gonna do that once we, once we finish. So right now, I think we've gotta be careful of this. If you're gonna buy it, buy it with a flag above the top. If it comes back here, perfect, we will take the buy. It's a buy setup, we just don't have the traders yet. So I'll put waiting for a buy, like all the yen pairs, like most of the yen pairs, you're waiting for that buy setup. All right, let's go. Pong cat, oh, we looked at this already, Pong New Zealand. It has to come down some more, right? But you see how this one came down? Kind of pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. And so we're gonna probably have a similar thing here. Break this low and then go back up. So if you wanna sell it, it's, a, it's useless. If you wanna buy it, it's useless. Unless you're gonna get a very good setup with a sharp drop. So if you're gonna get a really sharp drop here, put an entry under the low. Now the risk is it can tag you and pull you up. So if you can't manage that trade, don't take it, right? I would say probably even stay away from it because the down move is really, really correct. And really, really slow. It's not, not aggressive. So probably stay away from that. Pause. We had the sell, but you would have had to pull that sell. That was not the sell. The sell would have come from this one, right? We had that sell when this was making a flag. We had the sell here when this flag was forming. If it breaks the top, you pull the trade. And then you come and you put it on this one, right? One, two, three. So you see that top coming down? The cell would have been under this low here, which is almost the same place, but different structure, right? You wouldn't be keeping this here. You'd have to put it here. You'd have to put it there. You could have put it higher, but we didn't break the top. We didn't break this top. So it's a contracting point. If you want to sell it again, wait for another flag, right? Wait for another flag, and then we go for the cell to come back to this low. We wanted to come and break back to this low. Drop back to this level here and then go back up. So it's a sell. It's from there. Since we didn't take the sell, I'll take this off and say wait for a flag, right? If you guys got it this morning, great. If not, wait for a sell. Wait for a flag. Can this turn and go up? It will have to consolidate here more before that happens. Tongue Swiss. This cell would have been from here and you would have closed it already. Even if you took it here already, you closed it, right? By all means, you close that. It's not going the way we want it to go. Let's see where we are in the bigger picture. We're still in the consolidation. And I still believe this could drop, break this low and then go back up. Most of the pump pairs have a similar structure. Then drop. I don't think that is the top because this one has had too much consolidation. So we're not gonna take that as the impulse to the upside. What do we have now? Nothing. You kind of have a buy set up here, but we didn't break this low, so I'm not going to be going into that buy, right? If it comes back and break the low, then you can consider one more impulse. If it comes lower into this, then wait for another flat and then sell. So right now, we don't have a setup. We have both options, but we don't have a setup. So I'll take this up. We'll keep track of it. Then we go Aussie Cat. Perfect. Aussie Cat went up. We're consolidating in this range. Remember we said you're consolidating in one, two, three, and then upside. The bigger picture is upside. Remember this, the bigger picture is upside. So a lot now has to do with this range. And I'll put the range you're trading in so you have an idea. That is this range. We're in that range. This is the up move. That's the up move. That was a big up move you had, but it's like this. And I think we'll probably put it with this one. You got a big up move, you got to pull back. You're consolidating in this range. We are almost the top half of the range. Do we have any buy setup? Definitely not where it is right now. All right, breaking this top is not where you want to buy into consolidation. All right, breaking this top is where you look for the sell into the consolidation. So we let it go break the top and then we look for the sell. If you're already in this buy, you move your stops. We're consolidating in this range, which would be which would mean a sell setup coming very soon. I'll take this out. It's too early. You have to wait for it to break the top turn, make a flag, and then we sell. Aussie, New Zealand, good buy if you took it. Right? Remember, you're supposed to take that buy for the upside. So you got one, two, three. Good buy. I think one of our traders was tracking that buy. I hope you're in it. So we assume that's the running flat now. Perfect. 
upside, you're coming to break the stop, which is a very good trade. If it makes another flag, you have another trade. If not, that's an amazing trade right now. Let's go. Aussie Swiss. Yeah, we're getting a buy setup, but we decide not to take it. I think it's a good idea because this thing is, this is a weird type of consolidation here. Just leave it, let it finish. Let it break, see, stop, and then we look for the sell. New Zealand guy. Buy setup, don't take it, forget about it. We let it go break the stop, then we look for the sell. It's a very deep pullback. I think this is more of a pullback. We're going to get a trade to go there, break that top, and then we look for the sell. Let's see. Just leave it for now. New Zealand Swiss. Did we break this top? Let me just check something. Did we break this top? No, but we broke this one, which is enough to fulfill, depending on how you look at it, right? We'll have to go with this is the impulse. This is the correction. Come back here and then go. So we could make an assumption for a one, two, three. One, two, three, come back here and then do this and then drop. All right, I think we can clearly go with that because the most corrected part is this one. So you'll probably drop a little more here, let it drop, and then we look for the buy setup. Let this drop, let this do what it has to do here. Drop to this level and then it doesn't have to break the low. Remember, we don't have to break that. We broke the top, right? This one broke the top of this. And this broke the top too. So it could come anywhere here, but then we're looking for the next upside. So we just wait. Cat Swiss. Probably a little more downside. Break this low. We don't really have a sell setup right now. Right? This, this needs to drop. Go back up there, make a flat. Drop here, then go back up. Right, something like that. We don't have any trade setup. Just let it go. Take that off. Natural gas. It's consolidating some more, so I'll take this off. If it comes lower, if this consolidation comes much lower into this, you're going to get a sharp move up. Complete that flat and then drop. So we keep an eye on how low this goes before we decide if we want to buy. It's a buy, but it would, it would not be a good buy if it keeps dropping lower, right? As of now, you could still assume it's a buy above this stuff. Like I said, if it goes lower, you pull the buy, right? Pull this. So you kind of get a one, two, three, a bigger one, two, three, and a one, two, three. If it comes back to this level, that's your correction. Go back up, come down. See? So that's the problem. The problem here now is you can still put the buy here, but that's usually there is a sell here that you shouldn't take because we don't know for a fact that it's going to be a running flat. If you want to take the risk, it's up to you, right? If this, if you get this flag here like this, especially if it comes like this, and you want to take that risky sell, assuming that it's going to be a running flat, good for you. If it's not a running flat, get out, wait for the upside, sell. So this one you can put as we are waiting to see. It's a good sell if you think it's a running flat. I don't know that. We don't know it to be a running flat. So if you can get out in time not to be take your loss, then good. Keep us up above the top. Oil. Okay, that sell was good. This sell was good. close to break even. All right, this sell here would have went up. Come back here. You would close the trade somewhere here. It's going back up. So let's see where we are in the bigger picture. Take this off. Take this off. Take this off. So two good sales, one small loss. We're still consolidating. Literally, this is still consolidating. See this consolidation here? We're doing a similar one here. So we allow this to finish what it's doing and then go for the trade. As of now, the depth of the pullback tells me it's a consolidation. So wait, wait, wait. That should be the same for you, girl. Yes, wait, same. This was a good sell. This was a good sell. And this one is a small loss. On the pullback, you close the trade, right? So wait for this to happen and then we go for the sell. S&P 500, 
The buy is still possible. It's a deeper pullback, but it's still a good buy. Let's see. If it starts to give you deep pullback like that, as we come to the top here, we're channeling for a turn, right? This would literally be some kind of a channel forming here for a turn. So keep your eyes on that. It's a buy setup, you have to be careful. This is a buy setup, you have to be careful. It's still a buy. Once you break that top, it could turn at any point. So be very careful with that, right? US 30. We're already breaking the top. We're not going with this one, right? We're not taking this because it's inside of this. So it could break the top, come back here, make a new high, then drop. Let's let, let, let that play out and then I don't like this buy here. Let's sell is a break even. See how much hours you're there. There's a buy setup. If you took it, I don't know if anybody took it. It's one more impulse up. The buy should be from here, which is now, like now. Right? We have a lot of divergence. So if you want to take that buy, it's at your risk. I wouldn't advise it. As I'll take this off. Nifty, you're back in the buy. Monitor it closely. You're, as you come to the, 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 the structure, the top of the structure, either a breakout or another drop. So at this point, it could drop again or it could break out. Keep your eyes on it. Good trading, by the way. Bitcoin. Okay, we're stuck here. Take this out. That's it. That's supposed to be above the top, actually. All right, so we're stuck here. We're not going anywhere. Actually, if you took this one and you leave it to break even, you're good. You're actually in it. If you took this one and you leave it at break even, you're still in the trade. Right? I think this is where you're supposed to put your sell setup, your order to sell any of the trades you take in this one or any of the trade you took in here, which means you're still in the trade, but it's still going really, really slow. So we can't prove upside, we can't prove downside. This is still the top, which means this can still drop. Now, if you're not in the trade, you don't have a buy setup here. This is not where you should buy. The risk is too high at this point. Let's see if they break the top and make a better flag for you to buy. I would still go with it. We broke that top, so I would still go to their possible going to go back down, right? There's still a possibility for downside. That up move is really, really corrective. See that? It just looks like a big correction. So if you want to buy weight for a better flag somewhere above the top, that will confirm a sharp impulse, and then you can buy. Ethereum, we decide we're going to buy. We decide this looks like a buy. You can, you can keep the entry above the top. If this breaks out, it's probably going to go. OMG is still going. This was a buy setup, but I mean, if you got tagged there, you wait for this to go up a little. If it doesn't go, wait. It's kind of consolidating here. I don't like that. I'll probably close the trade. All right. When they tag you and they kind of consolidate like this without breaking out, right? they can come back here and then go. I right? kind of make that plan. So you can close the trade for break-even, positive or break-even, and then re-enter back to the low for the upside. This starting to look upside. We did break the low here. Although we came back all the way to the bottom, it's starting to look more upside because they're making nice flags for upside. So we wait. This would definitely be downside. You're consolidating here. So the higher probability is downside. If this breaks out of that structure, then we'll consider more upside. But right now it looks downside. That looks downside right now. Let's see. LTC. All of these trades, remember, if you bought anywhere from the low where we were saying you can buy and then put the break even, low of this one here, and you put the break even, you're still in the trade. But right now, they don't have any buy setup. If you bought anywhere at the low and you're keeping it with a break even at the low, you're doing good. But right now, I wouldn't advise any buy in this range here. That's where they can start to drop. It's going up. We saw this possibility of that going up when we saw this consolidation. They probably consolidate, they break the top. But once they break the top, they can turn. So you have to be very careful. You might not get a chance to put it at break even on the way down. Dodge. You can put a buy on this. I like the idea for the buy, right? If this breaks out, but it this could take off. This doesn't have to come back, depending on how you look at the structure, right? Now, if this becomes a more complex structure and this comes back to the low here, we'll, we'll study with the whole structure and see what that breakout will give. It's still a breakout, right? Buying somewhere at the bottom here would be a better idea. It, it broke this already, pulled back, and it's going. So. 
we already made that, we made this, we made this. So this is one piece of it. So what is doing here? Make another one and go again. That'd be a separate one. So we have to wait. Just wait and see what it's doing. There is no buy setup. We haven't broken the low. There's no way I'm buying this. If, I, if I'm trading, I would be trading this. I'm waiting for a low. Okay, this did go back, break the top. This one would be a surprise because I didn't think this was going to break the top. I think this would drop. So let's take that out and let's go with the piece that is going up, which is this one. Right. We did tag the low here, but we the up move is really slow. Right? We did break the low, but this whole up move here is really, really slow. So can we look at this as the possible flat? Something like this. If you go with one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you get one, you get two, and you're going up in this one. Okay, so let's assume they're going up. And this was just a pullback. The up move here isn't aggressive either. So if it makes a flag above here, it's a good trade. But if this pulls back here like this, then we'll go with that running flag. And now it gets a good supply. That would be a good buy setup. So if it pulls back, you get a better entry. Buying at the top there is a bad idea. OK, this thing broke the low, but there's a good chance I think they'll break the low again. It'll go back and break the low again before it goes. So I don't think we have a buy setup here. Sorry, this one. Okay, this is still going up, breaking the top. I think we wait for a running flat, take that off. Wait for a running flat. Wait for it to pull back, then go. That would give us a running flat. I right, pretty much like this, did. see? One, two, three, this was an expanding flat. So there is no buy setup in that wait right if you're trading these long term the idea is to wait for them to break these lows and then go back patience will pay off because if you get trapped at the top of these these sideways move you will have to wait until the drop break the low and then go back up and that's a disadvantage for you that doesn't have an advantage the ones that are going is just one or two of them so okay guys i hope you enjoy the analysis hope you like it hope you share it hope you understand what we're doing here because it's complex but this is not simple trading. This is not for no newbies. Newbies can watch it and learn, but they shouldn't be trading this as yet. But it is the analysis that gives you the edge. So if you're watching this to the end, you get that piece of information. My traders, please, I'll trade it. I'll, I'll share it, and I'll see all of you in the trading room very soon. Take care. Bye. Thanks for being here. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.